Welcome to Software Media TV, your online source for software reviews, tips, and tutorials. My name is Todd Francis, one of the Microsoft Gold Certified Professionals at SoftwareMedia.com. Today I'll be going over how to purchase licensing for more complicated products through the Microsoft Open Business Program. Whenever you're purchasing any type of server like Exchange Server, SQL Server, or Windows Server, you are required to purchase a server license for each operating system environment. As Software Media, we distinguish our server licenses from the rest of our licenses with this symbol. If you see the letters SA next to the image, that means the license comes with Microsoft's maintenance program, which is called Software Assurance. Generally, with every license through the Microsoft Open Business program, you have the option to purchase with or without Software Assurance. Software Assurance provides you two years of 24-7 support, access to technical resources, and training along with the rights to use new software versions that are released during your term. In addition to the server license, you are also required to purchase CAL licenses for every user or device that wants to access the program. A CAL stands for Client Access License and provides you the right to access that specific program. So if you have 50 people who need to access that software, you'll need to purchase 50 CALs. Generally, you'll have the option to purchase either user CALs or device CALs. You'll want to purchase user CALs if there are multiple devices per user. For example, if the employee owns a desktop and a laptop. Otherwise, if there are multiple users per computer, you'll want to purchase device CALs. Let's take, for example, a call center, where you might have two or more employees using the same computer at different times during the day. Note that if you choose to purchase your server license with SA, you must purchase the CALs with SA as well. Purchasing server licensing CALs is the most basic and common way to purchase server licensing through the Microsoft Open Business Program. However, there are a couple more terms that you should be aware of, especially if you want to be purchasing a lot of licenses. The first of that is the processor license. A processor license includes access for unlimited number of users to connect from either inside the local area network or wide area network or even outside the firewall. With a processor license, you don't need to purchase additional server licenses or CALs. Processor licenses are more expensive, so you should weigh the number of CALs and server licenses you need versus the cost of a processor license to see which one is the most cost effective for you. The other term is external connector. If you'd like to allow your business partners or customers to access your network, you can either purchase an external connector license, which grants access to unlimited number of external users, or you'd need to purchase individual license, CAL licenses, for each of those external users. Both processor licenses and external connector licenses are only available for certain products. Now let's move on to what happens after you make the purchase. Once your order is processed, you'll receive an email from Microsoft within one to two business days with your license agreement and further instructions, including a download link to retrieve your software. After that point, you own the software product for life. If you choose the software assurance option, then you have the upgrade rights to any new releases of the product for two years from the purchase date. If you are interested in open business for more basic non-server products like Office or Windows 7, we suggest that you check out part one of this video. We appreciate you joining us here today on Software Media TV. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos and guides in the future. If you have any further questions, please feel free to give us a call and we'll be more than willing to help you out. Also be sure to check out our website for extensive buying guides and the most up-to-date information. My name is Todd Francis and we'll see you next time on Software Media TV.